Hi, this is Brandon Slay from ThirstShim.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the Battle Rope Face Pull. It's a great upper back strength exercise. We're also going to get some extra grip. Good for your shoulders and traps and neck, of course. So, what you're going to want to do is take a battle rope, loop it over something, pull-up bar, chin-up bar, rig, whatever. You can be at the playground, something like that. What you're going to do here, grab it double overhand, and we're going to lean backwards. Make sure I got a good firm grip on this in a good position. The, obviously, the further I bring my feet down, the harder it's going to be, the further I move away, the easier it's going to be. Since it is pretty grip intensive, I'd start further away first. Palms are down. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this rope around our face, keep our elbows up good and high, squeeze our shoulders, come back down. Okay, really trying to feel that in our upper back. Squeeze those shoulders, elbows always up, and then always make sure your arms get good and long. So you get that scap moving all the way around the rib cage, and then light that grip up, those traps and neck, okay? So really not that difficult uh, in terms of execution. You're just gonna lean back, hold on, and, and perform a face pull. Now, the grip intensive part being the battle rope is obviously gonna depend on how thick of a battle rope you have, um, but the thicker the better if you're after a grip work. But the other reason I like it says, one, it controls how fast we go. It's a little harder to yank um, from a grip perspective. And then also number two, if we're doing this from like an athletic perspective, I like this because we're actually pulling ourselves around it, uh, which feels a little more natural. I can feel like I get a good squeeze in my rhomboids, my traps, my upper back. Um, and I really like this for combat sport athletes. And the one big reason here is one grip. Any grip intensive sport, this works great because we're gonna be in that good fat position, having to squeeze good and hard. And we wanted to be sure from a force perspective, whatever we're doing, we can hold on to what we're doing. And for like wrestling, jujitsu, grappling, anything like that, wrist and leg control is incredibly important. And being able to hold on to this is gonna develop that grip like strength that you need for your sport. The other thing, secondly, and more importantly, is that getting the upper traps involved, we're actually gonna train the upper traps and the rhomboids and everything to keep our shoulders good and strong as we go to actually grab stuff and pull it in regardless of like what position we're in, right? Those shoulders gotta do the work to actually pull and row. But then also, we're gonna get a little bit of extra neck work as well. And in those sports, usually you're doing bridging and different neck things. So you're really just checking a lot of boxes from a combat sport-based athlete. So again, I really like this for about two to four sets of 10 to 20 reps. You can go to your grip gives out. You can do it for the reps. Um, you could really do isometric holds uh, for a couple of different counts. You could really focus on just the eccentric portion so you come up. Good quality three to five second eccentric because that's how sport works a lot. With combat sport athletes, you've got a hold of something and they're prying it away from you and sometimes it might just be how long can you hold on for the time runs out. So there's a lot of good options of things you can do here. If you got any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, have a great day.